Well, out here in the backyard, nice fall day, harvest time. I wonder what's growing in my tree. Look, is this a Vault 3 in my tree? Let's pluck it. Oh, that's going to be great. I'll just stick it here in my basket. Look around. What else is growing out here? Is that another Vault 3 in my tree? These aren't Vault 3s in my trees. These are magnetic Vault 3s in my trees. And here's how you make them. Hi guys, DM Cubing here, and today I present my do-it-yourself tutorial on making a magnetic Vault 3 speed cube. Before we begin, let me just cover a few basics on magnetic cubes. First, we'll talk about the magnets. The neodymium magnets that we use in speed cubes are rated in grades N35 to N52. Those numbers represent the pull force or strength of the magnet. The N35 is the weakest and the N52 is the strongest. The most common size that we use is the 4 mm by 2 mm disc magnet. Generally speaking, the N48 works well in most cubes. However, for lighter weight cubes, grades such as the N35 work well. And you sometimes find that the colored plastic of stickerless cubes tends to increase the pull strength of a magnet, so lower grade magnets work well in those cubes as well. For thicker plastic, particularly black plastic like that found in the cubes such as the MoU Along V2 or the Weilong GTS, a grade 48, 4 mm by 2 mm works best. And you could even experiment with strengths up to the maximum of N52 to suit your own particular preferences. Next, we'll talk about the glue that you use to glue in the magnets. You can use anything from a two part epoxy to a super glue. I find super glues are easy to work with, but get those that aren't thin. Either use a gel style super glue or one that's kind of thick. Here lately, I've been using Gorilla brand high impact. I also just today purchased some crazy glue gel super glue that I think is going to work excellent. I prefer to just dab a little drop on the end of a wooden stick and then I put that little drop onto my cube piece then I place my magnet on top of that then I add an additional drop on top of that so it kind of it just kind of encapsulates the uh, magnet I found that as many cubes as I've done this works the best one small drop on the plastic place the magnet and then another drop on the side to the top of the magnet so it just kind of encapsulates the magnet onto the plastic it, it creates a stronger bond and really the only other thing worth mentioning is just to have kind of a non-cluttered work area with a little space because as you're gluing the magnets in you want to separate the pieces you want enough of space in between them so they're not cluttered while they're drying because their magnetic pull force can attract them to each other so just take your time with the glue let it fully cure before you handle the pieces to reassemble uh, super glue generally dries quick but when you're using like a drop of it it can take several hours for that drop to completely harden so i would take plenty of time really test the, the glue make sure that it's really hardened and dry before you reassemble your cube so I think that covers it. Let's begin. Okay, the first thing we do is we disassemble the cube. And while we're doing this, make sure to, you know, use a soft dry rag and remove all the lubricant from the cubey pieces and just put those to the side. Here I've used a coffee container to kind of hold mine all together. And the first thing we're going to get into is the edge piece. It has two main parts. It's kind of like getting into a pistachio, except you don't squeeze it. You just kind of pull the separate parts in opposite directions. Here's a little footage here. It has these little retaining prongs inside of it. And the uh, torpedo base is held into position with this little, you'll see at the end of it here, see this little T-shaped formation? And it slides right into a receptacle here that you see. So, and that's the edge piece and its parts. And next we'll look at the corner piece. It has three main parts, a base and a receptacle. This is the receptacle. This is the first part that we work on. And you'll take a small flathead screwdriver and put in that little slot and just gently put up. Now I purposely, I'm, I'm alternating between the stickered version and stickerless version. So see where the screwdriver goes? I'll show some footage here in a minute. These are the little prongs. Push those inward, but be very careful. They break easily. I've broken one. So just kind of be mindful of that. It's not designed for repeated use of doing this over and over. Here's a little footage. Just gently pry that up. It doesn't take any effort to remove that. And then set that to the side. Put that in that little box. And then here with my left thumb and my left index finger, I'm applying a pretty good amount of pressure upwards. As with the screwdriver, I'm pushing inwards 
on the prongs, and then that helps free them. See that? Now the base is free, and you just kind of wiggle it off and go set that sit that in the uh, in the box of uh, spare parts. Now you the rest of this piece here has thirds here, and you want to separate the thirds. See that seam there? Put your thumbnail in there. Don't grab a hold of the prongs. Like I said, they're very delicate. So, and just gradually, just easily pull this apart. It has these little tab, these little tongues that slide in a slot there, and that's what holds it together and stabilizes it. So I put my little parts in a box, and then my gluing parts I leave out because I'm going to be approaching those in a minute. Here's the position of the magnet. Study that. This is the exact location that we're going to glue. At the end of that little post, at the flat bottom of the edge surface there. That's the exact position of the magnet, so study that. Here's my stick of magnets. You'll see the little piece of paper all the way to the left. That's so that I keep the orientation that I glue constant, so I don't get confused from one pole or the other. Here's my little wooden stick, and I've got a drop of super glue on here. I'm going to place it in my edge piece. And then here's my stick of magnets. I pull one off, and then I just kind of drop one in there, and it gets into position. And then I can kind of move this little stick of magnets around. And then you pry it off. See, I'm using my thumbnail and index finger, and you just kind of pry it off. And then use the little stick or, or just kind of move it around until, see, that one's up a little high? Just kind of move it in position so it's at the base. And then put another drop of super glue. Here I've probably used a little bit too much glue, but uh, it's okay. And this other magnet... I call that my retaining magnet. That's the one that holds that magnet into place. And then you just put them to the side and let them dry. It's, it's going to take maybe two, three hours at, at least sometimes because the thicker that you put super glue on, the longer it takes to dry. And we want this to kind of be in the, the point where it's almost hardened. So it may take several hours. So just go take a break. And after you've kind of tested it to see if you know if it's kind of drying, then we'll continue with phase two. And that's the gluing the magnet into the corner part here, the third part of a corner. And it has these tabs. I've mentioned the tabs before. When you're gluing, make sure to be careful not to put your glue. It's as you're putting the glue in there, don't rake across there because if you get glue on the tabs, it won't go together. So, and here's your position of magnets. See that? So your retainer magnet is now the one that you're using in the corner piece here. So the polarity is perfect. You don't have to worry about colors at this point because they're all the same. They all have the same polarity through this. And that tab, like I said, just don't get glue on it. So here's my glue. I'm putting it in the piece here where the magnet's going to go. I do a little trick here to position the corner piece magnet. I cover the edge piece with my thumb so the magnet doesn't go in there, and then I pinch off a magnet and it drops right into place where it belongs on the corner piece. And Then I just reposition it with a little wooden stick. And then you put these to the side. Again, it's going to take several hours to dry. So. I mentioned an uncluttered workspace. This little thing here, this little one foot by one foot square panel here, if if you were to bump that, the magnetic force would just, it would cause chaos. So be very careful wherever you put it. And like I said, here it goes. It's break time again. Let these set. It's going to take a while to dry. Go have lunch. Wait till the next day. I actually did this last gluing in, in two phases, one day and then the next day in the morning. I finished it up. So, of course, after we finish it up, what we're going to be doing is reassembling everything. And we'll do this right here. I use a little checkoff list as I'm assembling the pieces, like my green and my yellow, go together on this edge piece, click, mark it off. And reassembling them is, is easy. You know, we took them apart. You just kind of put them together the same way that you took them apart, just kind of opposite order there. So I keep a checklist. And then I also do that with my corner pieces. Here's that little T slot. And see the magnet in place there? There's the T-slot on the base with the torpedoes. It slides right in there. And then it kind of snaps together. Just kind of push it together. And there's the seam. I've noticed sometimes the seam is not flush all the way across. See how that has like a slight little, you know, it's kind of bumped upwards a little bit there. So to make my cube perform a little bit more perfectly, I'll take a razor blade and I'll plane that down. Not cutting it, but just kind of rubbing it, and this just kind of flattens that down like that. See? Okay, and then there's a finished corner piece. Edge piece, I'm sorry. 
getting ahead of myself. Next, we're on to the corner pieces. Here's my little checkoff list. Notice that the colors are in a clockwise order. You can really get things messed up. Trust me. I've done that. You learn from this. Just gently push them together. See how the tabs fit into each other like that? And see the little magnet back there in position? Glued in. There's another magnet glued in position. And then you just kind of gently push all this together. Be mindful of these little prongs here. They do break. And then this will snap as you push that. It'll go snap. And then you push that little retaining disc in there. Now your corner piece is finished. So you do that to all the pieces. So I've showed you the corner piece, the edge piece. That's your finished corner piece. There's my checkoff list. And then it's time to lubricate. I'm using a Hetman number seven on the core and then the number six on the QB pieces. And then it's time to kind of break it in. Use your cube. So I hope this has been helpful. And now it's time to enjoy your new magnetic Vault 3 cube. Thanks for watching. Bye.